Have you ever wondered how electric cars work? No exhaust, no noise, just smooth driving. It's almost like magic, isn't it? But like any great magic trick, there's a fascinating explanation behind it. A combination of innovative technology and ingenious engineering, electrical cars are not only transforming our roads, but also the way we think about transportation. They're more than just vehicles. They're a testament to human ingenuity and our commitment to a more sustainable future. But how do they manage to run without a drop of gasoline? What's under the hood of these silent road warriors? It's not as complex as you might think, and understanding their functionality is crucial, especially as we move towards a future where electric cars are the norm rather than the exception. So are you ready to peek behind the curtain and discover the science and technology that powers these eco-friendly machines? Stick around to demystify the workings of an electric car. At the heart of an electric car is its battery not much different from the one in your smartphone. However, the battery in an electric car is significantly larger and far more powerful. Picture a smartphone battery, but on a much grander scale capable of powering an entire vehicle. This battery is the main energy source for the car, storing electricity that powers the electric motor. Now, this electric motor is quite the marvel of engineering. Unlike a traditional internal combustion engine that requires fuel to create a series of small explosions, driving the pistons and turning the wheels, an electric motor operates on a different principle entirely. It converts electrical energy from the battery directly into mechanical energy. This conversion happens through the interaction of magnetic fields within the motor, which creates rotational force, or torque, to drive the wheels. The beauty of this process is its simplicity and efficiency, as there are fewer moving parts compared to a combustion engine, resulting in less energy loss. The electric motor's efficiency doesn't stop there. When an electric car is in motion and the driver lifts their foot off the accelerator, the electric motor performs a little magic trick. It switches roles and acts as a generator, converting the kinetic energy of the moving car back into electrical energy, which is then stored back in the battery. This process, known as regenerative braking, helps to extend the car's range. There are other components in an electric car, of course, such as the controller that regulates the power flow from the battery to the motor, and the charging system that replenishes the battery. However, the battery and the electric motor are the key players that make an electric car move. So in essence, an electric car is a giant battery on wheels powered by an electric motor. It's a marvel of modern technology and a testament to human ingenuity, transforming the way we think about transportation and leading the charge towards a more sustainable future. The battery which powers the electric motor is what sets electric cars apart. Let's dive a bit deeper into this critical component. The battery of an electric car is more than just a power source. It's the heart of the vehicle, pumping the needed energy to other parts. The battery in an electric car is a lithium ion battery, similar to the ones in your smartphones or laptops, but much larger and more powerful. These batteries are chosen for their high energy density and long lifespan. They store the electricity that powers the motor, which in turn moves the car. Now let's talk about charging. Charging an electric car is as simple as charging your smartphone. You plug it in, leave it for a while, and voila, it's charged. But, of course, it's a bit more complex than that in reality. Charging at home usually involves a charging station installed in your garage or driveway. This station is connected to your home's electrical grid. While convenient, home charging is slower. It can take anywhere from 6 to 12 hours to fully charge a typical electric car battery. On the other hand, supercharging stations found in public areas like shopping malls or dedicated charging stations offer much faster charging times. These stations can charge an electric car's battery up to 80% in as little as 30 minutes. That's faster than your latest smartphone. But remember, charging times can vary greatly depending on a number of factors like the size of the battery, the speed of the charging point, and the amount of charge left in the battery. It's also worth mentioning that Regular charging and discharging cycles can wear out the battery over time. However, most manufacturers offer a warranty of up to eight years or more on their batteries, so you can drive with peace of mind. In conclusion, the battery is a vital component of an electric car. It stores and provides the energy needed to power the vehicle, and just like the human heart, it needs to be well taken care of and well charged to ensure the car performs at its best. A well-charged battery is essential for an electric car to perform at its best. The electric motor, unlike a combustion engine, has one moving part, the rotor. 
This simplicity is what sets the electric motor apart and contributes to the overall efficiency of an electric vehicle. But how exactly does it work? Let's dive in. The electric motor converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. This is done through the interaction of magnetic fields. When electricity is passed through the motor, it creates a magnetic field that interacts with permanent magnets. This interaction generates force that is used to spin the rotor. As the rotor spins, it drives the vehicle's wheels, propelling the car forward or backward. Now, the motor alone isn't enough to get an electric car moving. It's part of a larger system called the powertrain. The powertrain is the heart of the vehicle, pumping power from the motor to the wheels. It includes the motor, the transmission, and the drive shaft. The transmission, similar to those in traditional cars, adjusts the power produced by the motor to suit the car's needs. When the car needs more power, like when it's accelerating, the transmission changes the gear ratio to allow the motor to spin faster. Conversely, when the car is cruising at a steady speed, the transmission will shift to a higher gear, allowing the motor to spin slower, conserving energy. The drive shaft then takes the power from the transmission and delivers it to the wheels. It's like a courier service for energy, ensuring that the power gets to where it needs to go. The beauty of the electric motor and powertrain lies in their simplicity. Fewer moving parts mean fewer things that can go wrong, which leads to lower maintenance costs. And because an electric motor can deliver power more efficiently than a combustion engine, electric cars can provide instant torque for quick acceleration. So, from the moment you step on the accelerator, the process of transforming electrical energy into kinetic energy is smooth, efficient, and incredibly fast. You're not just driving an electric car, you're experiencing the future of transportation. The electric motor simplicity is a key factor in the efficiency and reliability of electric cars. Every time you break in an electric car, you're actually helping to recharge the battery. Isn't that something? This fascinating feature is known as the regenerative braking system. It's a unique aspect of electric cars that sets them apart from their gasoline-powered counterparts. When you hit the brakes in a traditional car, kinetic energy is lost as heat due to friction. But in an electric vehicle, this kinetic energy is not wasted. Instead, it's converted back into electrical energy and stored in the battery for later use. Think of it as an energy recycling program right there in your car. The regenerative braking system is an innovative solution to increase efficiency, reduce energy consumption, and extend the driving range of the vehicle. It's a testament to the smart design and forward-thinking technology that underpins electric vehicles. So, the next time you're driving an electric car and you need to slow down, remember. With regenerative braking, even slowing down is a way to keep going. To recap, an electric car operates quite differently from a traditional car. Let's tie everything together and see how these innovative machines work as a whole. Firstly, the heart of an electric vehicle is its battery. Unlike conventional cars that use gasoline or diesel, electric cars are powered by electricity stored in a large battery pack. This pack is made up of several smaller batteries which can be charged using a regular home outlet or a dedicated charging station. It's like having a giant mobile phone on wheels, except it doesn't fit in your pocket. Now what happens when you step on the accelerator? This is where the electric motor comes in. The electricity from the battery is sent to the motor, which then uses it to create a magnetic field. This magnetic field interacts with the magnets in the motor to generate force, propelling the car forward. The more juice you give it, the faster it goes. Simple as that. But what about when you need to slow down or stop? That's where regenerative braking comes into play. When you apply the brakes in an electric car, the electric motor switches roles and acts as a generator. Instead of using electricity to create motion, it uses the motion of the wheels to generate electricity, which is then fed back into the battery. In essence, every time you brake, you're helping to recharge the battery. It's a clever way to extend the range of the vehicle and make the most of the energy it uses. So to sum it up, an electric car uses a large battery pack to store electricity, which powers an electric motor to move the car. When the car needs to slow down or stop, it uses regenerative braking to recapture some of the energy and feed it back into the battery. Understanding how an electric car works not only demystifies the technology, but also highlights its benefits and potential for the future.